the liner St. Louis, turned back from Cuba, brings its human cargo to port at last. 907 Jewish unfortunates without a country permitted to land in Belgium after five weeks of suspense afloat. Through American generosity, they will find at least temporary shelter in France, Holland, and England. These are but a fortunate few, saved by publicity from the fate of their fellows. 10,000 of their kinsmen are still homeless on the high seas, seeking sanctuary in vain. Three million more are in bondage in Central Europe, a bondage forcing them to the greatest migration since the days of the pharaohs. Helpless victims, they, of a merciless regime that spares neither rich nor poor, ill, aged or young, that strips them of virtually all but their clothes and casts them out. And yet for these few who have escaped, penniless but undaunted, life still looks sweet.